We have refurbished our office and by refurbishing, I don't just mean a lick of paint, we have made some massive changes which we're really excited to show you. But before we do show you, let me go back to February, midway through the process where we spoke to Neil to find out the what, but more importantly, the why. So one of the key parts of the brief with the refurb was that we need spaces that are more welcoming for visitors, more comfortable when we do get visitors and clients. So this whole area is going to be filled with sofas, a bar area, a much better experience when people come in to visit us. So this was obviously uh, our presentation space, which we have termed the Thunderdome. Obviously we kind of outgrew that presentation space, but we are looking to make that space bigger so it can, it can hold, if not the whole company, then at least larger meetings in there. Main change up here is, you'll see it on the right in a second, which is kind of, the enlarging of a room that previously existed. It's what used to be known as our deep workspace. Now, since that, the idea of that room, we've you know built quite a fantastic creative team. And it was what we were missing from that team was a creative studio space where they could um, do a lot more of their work and show a lot more creative output. So in there, there can be rigs on the ceiling to install lighting to do shoots for you know products and people and things. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to see what comes out of that team with that space. So now I finally get to show you what the finished project looks like. But before I do, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It's completely free and 95% of you lot are not subscribed. So make sure you do that. Anyway, here's the bit that you clicked for. detail about the new office space. So you're right now stood at the new entrance, it's got a fancy new high tech door uh, controlled by an app, so people can get in that way. Welcome team. <laughs> we have these new call boots, nice and uh, sound insulated so you won't be able to hear me. Obviously the bar here. The bit everyone's excited by. Exactly right. A beer tap and uh, Aperol tap. I don't know what beer's in now. It says kegs. Kegs. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is like a really good space. Uh, funny enough for watching sport with everyone here. So when the Euros are on, um, RIP. We had everyone here start watching the games and the drinks. This is uh, such, a, such a nice space for that. Got a live view of one of the call booths in action. Let's hope that call isn't sensitive. So now we have this lovely new kitchen space. We've got some space for to have lunch on here. And um, we've got this smart finish. Sound like a, a real estate. <laughs> got a lovely uh, book matched slab. <laughs> Not too much has changed over here, but we do have the extended Thunderdome. We've had this out now. Oh, look at the cushions. These are new. Yeah, it feels like a play group or something. It's got a smell about them. <laughs> <laughs> but we've had it where I think there's been over like 100 people in here. Uh, if you get some bench seating out here as well. Yeah. The biggest change to this room is that it is no longer hideously red. Yeah. It was an assault yeah. on the senses. I know, I know. Not to slag off the person who did it last. <laughs> Behind me, about now, <laughs> is our brand new meeting room. This looks out onto the dock um, and it's like our. Would you say a flagship meeting room? I'd say yeah, a flagship it's the meeting room. Yeah. Do the classic vlogging. I guess the main space that is new, which I'm not going to let you see it because it's not done and it's a mess. <laughs> but this is where the creative studio will be. Um, we've got some bits in there, we've got some nice lights and stuff, but um, yeah, that is reserved for the creative space. Not much has changed. We still have the deep work room there, but now that's been replaced yeah. by the studio. So yeah, that is the full tour. Let's see what people think. The space was very much designed for a lot smaller agency. Um, We've not really redeveloped this floor very much. This area in particular, I think, really helps bring teams together. You don't have to just sit in a meeting room, you don't have to sit in the, in the Thunderdome, which is, is probably a bit big now for team meetings and, and can be used for other things. So yeah, I think having uh, all this kind of dedicated seating space um, uh, is good. The bar 
laptops uh, and the, the bar itself which is really good, cool. Um, I think I think I do think this space though, I think this is my favourite thing. Uh, as least favourite thing, we haven't named all the meeting rooms yet, so they're basically the room formerly known as the green room or the red room or the blue room, so yeah. So Trish, you hosted HSL here a couple of weeks ago now. How was hosting a client in the new space? Lovely, so nice. Um, the new office is very cosy just a bit more developed in the sense that we don't just have like spaces for working and doing meeting rooms where you have that formality we also have this really lovely lounge space and especially in terms of when we're having breaks and lunch with them it was just so nice to kind of have that more inviting space where it was cozy and homely and I think that made them feel really comfortable and it just it makes you know when you build a relationship spending time with people it it has that inviting space to it so it's really nice and warm I'd say for them. <laughs>